to uh, not be in people's faces too much. Don't always get it right. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I try to be a really good team man as best as I can, yeah. Um, what advice would you give to a new fan of the sport? Oh man, so rugby is, for me, is an amazing sport. It's a great combination of what you get in a football game in terms of the physicality and the fact that we're hitting each other. Um, it's a great example of a bit of pace, a bit of speed, and what you get in a soccer game, you know. But it's also, there's a finesse and there's a skill set in it mm -hmm. that you get in terms of handling a rugby ball that you get from basketball. So it's all these beautiful sports kind of like into one. It's fast paced, lots of action, and it's in your face. So it's 80, 85 minutes of your time and you're good. No, it's so crazy to watch. It's a beautiful, just incredibly powerful game. Yeah. Uh, the Seawolves have a few new players to the squad this season. How is yeah. the team? coming together and gelling? I think first and foremost, uh, and I think I said it earlier, they're great human beings. So all the additions that we've had this year are just brilliant human beings. So that makes it easier, right, before they're rugby players. Um, from a talent perspective, they're brilliant rugby players and they've just kind of come in and bought into what the Seawolves culture is. Um, it's been great uh, to see them and I'm, I know we haven't seen the best of our new signings yet. Mm. Uh, it's only going to get better. Right? This uh, was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for coming in. Looking forward to seeing uh, what you guys uh, do. You guys are so talented and you're so fun to watch. Thank you so much, MJ. Thank you so Appreciate much for your time. you. Thank you so much for having me. You got it. All right. All right. You know, uh, guys, as we get it back down to Aaron and Mike, I was Castillo was one of the ones I was a little bit worried about with the pitch clock, but so far, so good, right? Yeah. Uh, he actually says that he likes the pitch clock, which I think is a little bit of an upset special, Mike. I would say so. It's a strikeout, though. Strikes out Trace Thompson for number one. And we'll take a look at the strikeout. We're breaking ball. Look like just off the outside corner. Kind of able to hold on to it.